Your husband died how many years ago? He died in 2006. He had Hodgkin's, um, and, and it was in remission for like two or three years, and then the, the cancer came back anyway. That's what they said, that, that it was back and it was flaming. Yeah. It was spread. Yeah. So um, it went up his spine, and he um, became paralyzed, and then um, he died. Stephen, he he took it so hard, he, he started rebelling. He started telling me his arm hurt, and I, I knew, I knew, I, I had a feeling. You know how you have, you have a feeling, you, you have a gut feeling. I, and, and I knew, and I started, I mean, I prayed, and I prayed, and I cried out to God, and I knew, I knew that it was, it was cancer, and they did a biopsy, and it came back doing sarcoma. And they removed from his elbow up to his shoulder, his uh, bones in his arm, and they replaced it with um, rods and donor bone, and he never really recovered from that surgery. They talked like they might could stop it, you know. Yeah. But that that kind of cancer is very aggressive. Yeah. God is good. He, at least he's not in pain anymore. My hopes for the new year is that you know my family stitched together through thin and thick. Surpasses all and stays with a close relationship with God. My dream is that I'm be able to get up and walk again. Meeting Gwen and Nicholas and Carmen was such a privilege. They have such joy and, and have shown incredible resilience through this lengthy season of pain and heartache. And now we have a chance to help them. Uh, we have an opportunity to demonstrate God's unfailing love. Stephen's biggest hope for the new year was that his family would stick together and stay strong. And right now they've got the burden of a house that needs repairs. And we want to remove this burden from their shoulders and fix it for them. And it needs a lot of love including a new well and some septic work, but fortunately there's more than enough love to make a real difference, and I just can't wait. This is, this is going to be a beautiful story.